Hi, I'm Amy Wilde. I felt a really strong urge to put out a little video with a little message in this crazy time of COVID-19 coronavirus. I want to connect with my fans and of course my most incredible patrons. So guys, what I'm going to do, I want to share a little bit about this virus with you that you may not know about, relating of course to wildlife if possible. I'm going to ask just one or two questions. And lastly guys, if you're interested, I'm going to share a little bit about where I'm at in all this, um, how I'm being affected, how I'm likely to be affected, and that's really it. But I gotta say, while I'm incredibly lucky, I've just scored out of the blue a couple of days um, fauna spotting, so looking for reptiles and other animals. I just don't feel myself in this high vis, and definitely not in these boots. Something's missing, and it's not just a shower. So, guys, I'll be right back. Much better. And I knew something was missing animals. I figured while I'm here, I may as well introduce you to some of my co workers from my own home. So, this is Ekans and Arbok, the Stimpsons pythons. Anyway, so some fun facts about this not-so-fun virus. Firstly, you may have noticed in some of my previous videos, I tend to be a little bit of a stickler for names sometimes. Did you know the name of this virus that we're dealing with across the globe is not coronavirus? It's not even COVID-19. Huh? So, coronavirus is actually the name of a whole group or family of viruses. All of these viruses tend to have kind of the shape of a crown. So corona means crown in Latin. So yeah, we're dealing with one virus that belongs to the whole group of coronaviruses. COVID-19 is actually the name of the disease that this virus causes. COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. So another way to think about that is if this snake here was poisonous, Right, if Ekans was poisonous, that poison inside her would have a special name, like Ekans poison. And if I went and uh, ate Ekans, the specific sickness that I got from that poison would have a different name, like don't eat snakes, you idiot disease. So why have we not been hearing the actual name of this virus this whole time? That's because the real name of the virus is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. Or, for short, SARS-CoV-2. And yes, this is basically a different type of what we called SARS back in the day. Now, one that's really interested me, and I know this will surprise you, is animals. Can we catch this thing from Tilly and Lily the bobtail lizards, for example? Now, here it does get a little less clear. Firstly, there is no evidence to suggest that we can catch this virus from mosquitoes. So we're probably in the clear with that. Secondly, dogs and cats, so many of us have them as pets. Now there is a type or subgroup of coronaviruses that can infect them, but it's different to the type that we're dealing with now. So dogs and cats can be infected by alpha coronaviruses while we're dealing with a type of beta coronavirus. These ones are known to infect bats and other exotic animals like palm civets and pangolins, as well as, of course, humans. Unfortunately, it is almost certainly the Chinese habit of eating bats and other exotic animals that has led to this becoming a pandemic. For those of you that think this virus was actually engineered in a lab, I've popped some links in the description that disprove this. So in summary, definitely don't eat any bats or other wildlife, and I'm gonna say as a personal favour to me, maybe don't eat any dogs either, you know, just to be safe. Good dogs! Now, these are my two doggos, Carly and Jarrah. I did just want to say that while I mentioned dogs and cats probably can't catch SARS-CoV-2, it is worth remembering that if, for example, you're not in total isolation and perhaps your friend is secretly infected, if this friend sneezes on their dog and then you pat that dog, then you touch your mouth, now, you definitely do have a serious problem. So that is something to consider. Anyway, guys, whew. Is that enough educating? Have I educated enough? I've decided yes. But if you do have any other questions, whilst I'm clearly no virologist or epidemiologist, I do have a few connections. So if you've got any last questions, by all means, drop them in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer. But I would love you to comment something else too. So obviously this thing has turned our lives upside down and it's caused some absolutely horrible situations for millions of people across the world. But to put a positive spin on things, nature and wildlife have a way about them. And I want to know, how has either nature or a particular animal 
helped you in these troubled times. Maybe you've found a completely isolated bit of nature you never knew existed and that's given you a sense of peace. Or if you're in total lockdown, perhaps you've seen a new type of bird in your backyard or you just have a really cute pet that's been helping you through these troubled times. I know these two sure have. And lastly, where in the world are you? How are you going through all this? I know that relatively speaking, Western Australia is doing super well. We're way better off than the majority of the world. And I care, so tell me how you're going, what the situation is for you. I genuinely want to get your comments and answer them. So maybe you can pause the video now and drop your comment, just so you don't forget. So I've asked you how you're going. It's only fair I tell you a little bit about myself. With my assistant, of course, this is Groot, the Southwest Carpet Python. Up until very recently, I've enjoyed an eclectic but exciting career spanning education, entertainment, a spot of dog training, and field-based zoology, which basically means hands-on working with wildlife in the wild. For fun, I enjoy riding horses, climbing walls, free diving, searching for and photographing wildlife, and even a little bit of art. But as you can imagine, what with this outbreak of SARS-CoV-2, that has all come to an end, except maybe the art. Here in WA, we are still technically allowed to leave our homes, but it's not encouraged. All my work is gone. I still, of course, have it way better than millions of people, don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful for what I've got. But still, these are uncertain times, to say the least. But the huge silver lining to all this is that I can now focus entirely on this channel, as I've always wanted and intended to. And of course, Kimberly, the Earl of Python, she is such a star in my shows, and still a baby too. Now though, with potentially nothing coming in for months, I could use your support more than ever. Even if you can't afford much, just the cost of a coffee or a freezer meal once a month would help me out so much. And there's also heaps of benefits to becoming a Patreon member. Just check it out, the link's in the descriptions. It takes 30 seconds, I promise. Also, if you're watching me for the first time, I promise my adventures are usually much more adventuring. I've almost finished my second episode in New Zealand. I've already filmed one in Greece. And I've got episodes on horseback and all sorts of other things planned too. And of course, what with the current situation, I'm gonna be producing way more than ever before. But for now guys, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to read all your comments. Stay safe, stay wild in these crazy times, and I'll see you in my next adventure. Is severe respiratory disease. Wait. Mark, let's Now, vacation, entertainment. Um. <laughs> Now spend button that